we're going to show how to resolve a given force into its x and y components. So we've got a force of 500 newtons and it's at 25 degrees to the x axis. So we're going to calculate the x component first and one of the things that I always do, no matter how silly I look doing it, is if this is my angle theta I have my opposite, my adjacent, my hypotenuse, and so uh, so I can identify with the given angle where I'm using the sine, cos, tan, and never presume that it's always going to be cos for the x direction. So in this case, I've got given my hypotenuse, and I want to get my adjacent. So I'm going to be using the cos rule. So let's write this in a kind of longhand way. So cos theta equals adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. In this case, I know my hypotenuse. So my adjacent in this case is the x vector that I'm looking for. And my hypotenuse is my 500 newtons. And so I'm going to rewrite this scribbled equation a little bit more formally. So, and rearrange, taking my, hypo my hypotenuse here onto the left-hand side of the equation, leaving me with the x component of my force vector equals 500 newtons multiplied by the cos for the angle, which in this case is 25 degrees. And I put that into my calculator and I get 453.2 Newtons. As that's an important answer, I like to double underline it so I can find it easily in my notes. And we do the same in the y direction. Use Sokotoa, identify which one of the rules I'm using. So in this case, I'm trying to find the y vector, which is the opposite and I already know the hypotenuse which is the known vector force so I'm using the sine rule and again write down Fy equals 500 the hypotenuse times by the sine of the angle which is 25 degrees which equals 211.3 newtons At this point, I've got both of my x and y coordinates of the force, but I always like to apply a little check just to make sure that I haven't made any silly mistakes as I've gone through. So I'm going to use Pythagoras' theorem. And just check that my resultant vector from these two answers for fx and fy do indeed get me back to the original vector. So... FR, my resultant vector, will be equal to the square root of 453.2, and that's squared, plus 211.3 squared. I put that into my calculator, and that is indeed 500 newtons. And applying these self-checks is one of the important things in statics. Getting into this discipline, even if you're making simple calculations, to always apply a self-check on your calculations as you go along.